right, they're back. Hey guys, Zero here, and today we got a box. It's a special box because this is my BGS submission. So during the Spring Expo, I submitted two cards. My Connor McDavid, Platinum Rookie Auto, Purple to 15. Owned that card for like two days and then sent it off. And the Austin Matthews Cup RPA. So pretty much two of my biggest cards. But before we get into the reveal, this video is sponsored by YMM Breaks. If you're looking for live breaks of all your favorite boxes, check out YMM Breaks, including their new site, YMM Sports. Sports.com. Daily breaks on their Facebook group. Low prices, old and new boxes, with free worldwide shipping, with very fast shipping to the United States. Be sure to join the YMM Facebook group today. And be sure to check out their new site at YMMSports.com. So thank you, YMM, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get on to this reveal. All right, time to reveal these cards. So what am I expecting for grades? Well, first off, both cards have condition issues. Pretty significant condition issues. I'm hoping for a BGS 8 on both. Best case scenario would be 8.5 for both. Worst case scenario would be like a 6.5 or something. I get absolutely choo-choo trained. That's a possibility. I got a paid sponsor on this video now, so I can't just throw it away if I'm not happy with the grades and just act like I never submitted anything. <laughs> but yeah, McDavid, I don't know how they're gonna treat the centering. It had the weird edge on the top. It had problems. The Matthew had problems also. Top right corner was kind of weird. There are some surface issues on the Matthews I noticed right before submitting it, so I am very worried about that. I'm preparing for these cards to not even get eight at this point. Both of these purchases were probably some of my boldest purchases. Like, how the frick did I swing 18 grand? I still don't know, but yeah, let's get right into it. I'm not blindfolding myself this time. Hopefully my mic isn't fricked up this time. We're gonna use some former greats here to reveal the two players here. This is tough. I might have to close my eyes here soon. I'm just staring straight ahead. Isn't that right, Uncle Todd? I'm just staring into your eyes there. Oh, okay. Well, I know there's gonna be a slip here soon. Also, I got a feel for the top part of the slab because on the top of the slab it has a little Beckett logo, which isn't on the bottom. Okay, elastic band there. Both of them are in slabs. That is a positive. So let me get the piece of paper out. Wait, where's the paper? There's a paper. Let me just get that out there. Okay, so now I'm definitely gonna have to close my eyes. Okay, I got one down there. Second one. Oh, geez, the nerves are kicking in. I'll tell you what. Okay, that was much quicker than the first time I did a BGS reveal, but let's make sure we got the right card here. Okay, that's McDavid there, so hold on. Oh, jeez. All right, I just did a little switcheroo there. Got Grant Fuhr for McDavid, got Sundin for Matthews there, but yeah, the top is there. I can feel the little top part. The thing with this card is if we see like that papery gray label there, that means it's going to be an eight or lower. If it's silver, that's a massive W. It's 8.5. So please, please don't be a 7.5. Ah, uh, frick. <sighs> Uh, okay. Pray for an eight. Let's see how they treat us in the subs. Centering. This is a potential choo-choo train here. Oh my gosh, we got a seven point. Ah, uh, my gosh. A 7.5. Centering. They choo-choo train. What? No. Freaking Beckett. Of course. Like, how the heck did the edges get a 9.5? No, are you kidding? The the corn like what? Nine point five for the edges. The surface got a nine point five, even though there was problems. What? You could not have bailed me out like a little bit on the centering there. Oh my gosh. Well, if the centering was fine, this could have threatened a gem. What the heck? Okay. Well, all in six grand for this card. Seven point five. That is tragic. <laughs> Absolutely tragic. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy that the subs are way better than I thought. The centering, absolute choo-choo train there. Like, dang. Wow, am I going to resub this? Like, hmm. There you go. 7.5 McDavid. I mean, this is a card I've been hunting. I'm not really content with that, but, like, that should be an 8, shouldn't it? Yes, it absolutely should. So you can see mine right here, 7.5. It's the lowest in the population. But if you go over here and click on an 8, and then you observe one of these 8s here, look. Edges, subgrade, 7. They got a 7 on the edges. They still got the 8 grade, even though they have worse subs than mine. Like, there's an 8.5 here. I had only 9s and higher, other than the 7. So this card should be a freaking 8. So I got absolutely bent over. If it would have had an 8.5 centering, which is probably realistic for the card, that could have been a 9. Like, wow. Choo-choo train action in full force. I am upset. Come on. Ah. Uh, <sighs> okay, let's see the fate of number 34 here. Coming off the Ted Lindsay and Hart. <sighs> Come on. Oh, yes! 
Let's go. Let's go, man. We got at least an 8.5 there. I know the auto is probably going to be a 9. Uh, Austin, Ma yes. Ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be an 8.5, but yes, that auto's gonna be a 9. Let's just make sure, yeah. 8 auto? Frick my bum. I used 8 auto. Come on, Beckett. Uh, what? Uh, I'm getting choo-choo trained mildly here. Okay, centering 9.5, good. Corners, 8. Edges, 9. Surface, 9. <laughs> 8 auto? That's an 8? Like, how? Uh, K. Uh. <laughs> um... 8.5 Matthews with an 8 auto. How is that an 8 auto? Like, has Beckett seen all the Matthews Cup RPAs? Like, the corner's got an 8 because of that top right right there, but 8.5. That's better than I thought, I'll be honest. Jeez, this could have been a 9. That's devastating. There you go, Austin Matthews. Uh, yeah, um, 8 autograph. That is, uh... Hard to live with, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, okay. Ah, man. Dang it, I should have bribed them more. Because <laughs> I wish that was a 9 there, and I wish that was at least a 7.5, so that would have been an 8. But dang it, I'd be happy to swap a 0.5 to that, but ah. Uh, 8 autograph. I've observed so many Matthews autos. I know I have two 10s in the background there, but so many of them are problematic. This one, they could have at least given a 9, come on, but <sighs> There you go. Honestly, I'm disappointed. I'm happy the grade's there, but yeah, well, there you go. $850 submission. Two big boys of the collection are officially slab. I can't believe this card got a 9.5 on the surface. Like, I guess it paid off me wiping the ever-living crap out of this card aggressively, but it definitely didn't deserve the 9.5. Like, look below the R there. Look at that little thing right there, and there's also one a little bit to the left there. Like, definitely does not deserve a 9.5 surface or edges, but, you know, it is what it is. You know what? I guess I'll live with it. I wish that was a 9. Like, if I ever move this in the long run which i don't plan on doing this is like my centerpiece that's gonna hurt <laughs> that's definitely gonna hurt that's gonna be a problem so yeah frick my bum i mean last time we were also disappointed 0.5 off a of 9.5 with the future watch there so that could have been 9 or a 9.5 but i mean the centering still bothers me there is that really a 7 like so many of these cards have centering issues that could have been an 8 right there no problem like look at the back the back's solid most of the backs are all fricked up there but it is what it is so yeah guys there is my submission what do you guys think should i crack these i'm probably gonna leave Matthews in there. I'm fine with that. Great. Okay, I keep on coming back here, but the corner's got a nine. Like, what is that right there? Like, should not be a nine for <laughs> card. Should be like a flat eight for everything. But uh, okay, all right. Well, stay tuned for more breaks to come. Um, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys later.